Hey, Wibbit friends. Kevin here from Wibbit.net doing a quick Wibisode here on partitioning a Mac OS X disk using the well-branded at least currently new version of Mac OS X, El Capitan. So those of you guys that are familiar with Mac OS X are familiar with disk utility most likely. And uh, those of you guys that are familiar with El Capitan know that uh, uh, disk utility got an, a facelift in this version of Mac OS X. And um, there's quite a few folks that are not humongous fans of it because the previous version was great. It worked just fine. It was perfect. Um, and they went ahead and played around with it. And sure, it has pretty rainbow colors and it looks nice, but uh, it has some bugs that are being, I guess, fine tuned, at least at this point in time. So what I want to do is just kind of show a really quick video on how we can do some quick partitioning. So what I have here is um, basically what uh, is the catalyst for this was basically I had a, um, a Linux and a Mac dual boot system. And uh, on that disk, I had some unallocated space that I wanted to allocate for uh, my Mac partition. And uh, what I was trying to do was resize the Mac partition. And I had very recently uh, uh, upgraded my Mac OS X to El Capitan. And when I went to the Mac OS X partition and I wanted to change it, I opened up disk utility and I was like, what the hell, why, uh, what, what's going on? I can't, I can't change. I, I don't even see the other uh, in the unallocated portion of disk that I wanted to change. So, um, and when I was trying to use disk utility, I was unable able to see that partition and it took me a little while to kind of well not that long but it took me a little bit of time to kind of get it to work using command line but it wasn't a big deal but had i been using previous versions of mac os x it wouldn't have been a big deal because i could have just used the uh, previous version of disk utility to do it also uh those of you guys that are building your own hackintosh machines or using mac uh in virtual environments such as vmware may be dealing with this if you are extending drives and you have un allocated portions of the disk and you need to allocate it to uh current disk that you're using. So this tutorial, this really quick, hopefully quick tutorial will be useful for those of you guys as well. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'll do is just kind of open up uh, disk utility for those of you guys that haven't seen it in El Capitan. And as you can see, uh, it looks pretty. It has whatever. One of the first things to notice when I actually go to my main drive here, you'll, um, and uh, this is actually not the machine. I actually set up a, um, a sample machine that just to kind of demonstrate this. So this isn't the machine that I was working on. This is just, I built a, um, a test machine for this. You can see that the capacity of the drive is 250, whatever gigabytes. I think it should be around 240 gigs. Uh, but you can see that there's only 40 ish gigabytes that are allocated and and if I go to the actual Mac drive here and uh, I want to uh, try to repartition it, I can't. So if I repartition it, the most that I can partition it for is the maximum amount that is allocated. So even if I try to manually go to 240 gigabytes, it just forces me back. So I'm kind of stuck. I have all this disk space that I could be using, but I can't use it. So uh, the older versions of disk utility, if you're familiar with it, it was actually pretty simple. All I had to do was just click, you know, it, it basically showed the disk as like a single bar that I could just click and drag down. And it was it was actually really nice and really simple. I'll click apply and 10 seconds later, my disk is allocated and boo shaka. I'm done, ready to rock. So um, I, I would have to assume that this is a bug that's going to be worked out at some point, and it might have to do with Hackintosh systems or virtual systems or just the very specific circumstance that I had on my dual boot system that I had that was the catalyst for me doing this video. And uh, this virtual system has the same problem that this little lab system that I set up for this particular tutorial video. So what I did to fix this is I used uh, the disk util from the terminal. So let's open up the terminal. And uh, the first thing that we're going to do from the terminal, other than resize it so that it's a little bit easier to read, is I want to do a disk, D-I-S-K util, just make sure it's cool. And then, uh, and then list. So you'll see that disk util list shows a couple of partitions here. So the, here is the unallocated scheme here. Uh, this is the allocated disk. So this is the disk that we want to change. You can see that it has uh, approximately 40 gigabytes allocated. And what I want to do is take this unallocated portion of the disk and I want to allocate it to this portion of the disk. So what you what, what I'm going to do in this case, and I, I don't recommend that you really do this without really knowing what you're doing. If you can do this on a, uh, a lab machine first, like, <laughs> like I did before I actually applied it to my real machine. <laughs> 
Uh, that would be ideal if you have a lab like I do in, uh, in my uh, laboratory that I have at Wibbit.net Studios. So here we go. So this is the disk that I want to apply this change to, and this is the unallocated portion. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to then... I know that the size of the disk is uh, approximately 240 gigs. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do disk util, and then I'll do resize, volume, space, and then I will do slash dev, um, and then it will be disk 02s, 02s2, which is this disk right here. And I'm going to make this 240 gigabytes, or just G, sorry. And let me run that command. So what's happening now is it should be allocating space from this partition to this partition, and it shouldn't take too long, hopefully. And uh, through the magic of editing, you probably won't have to watch the whole thing. But let's see. Well, let's see here. Let's see how uh, how this goes. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So now we have disk two is 240 gigs. So now if I run out to disk util T, now it says that the available, so the capacity is now that, and then the available is that, and the capacity is 257, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now that should be good to go. Uh, I think I could have gotten maybe squeezed a little bit more out of that. Whoop, sorry about that. I think I could have squeezed a little bit more out of that disk, but you kind of get the gist of it. Um, that's just a really simple way that you can do it from the command having any issues using disk util uh, disk utility to actually repartition your disk to retrieve or um, make use of unallocated portions of your disk for your El Capitan Mac OS X operating system. Thanks a lot guys. See you in the next webisode.